vegetarian KFC which you don't find anywhere in the world. Man. Vegetarian KFC? It's country dependent. It depends on the country. The same card you get. It depends on the visa validity also. It's the place to live in India. Yeah. This is the best place in the whole of the world. Geo is the fastest network there in India. Geo is the fastest, is the fastest one? Yeah. No, I haven't no, ever heard of it. Because when you look on the internet, it says Airtel or it says Vodafone for India. It doesn't say... No, Vodafone is a little slow. This process of getting a SIM card in India, it's very complex. Yeah, so I was in Vietnam three years. What are you doing in Vietnam? I was a teacher. So you just come in India or you were here for some time? India, this is my first time actually. Oh, but then you come straight to Goa or did you visit any other places? I went to, uh, yes, I oh, went, went to Ahmed Abad. What a situation, Ahmed Abad. I came at the, the wrong time because a lot of people were not even at the stalls where food was being served, right? Yeah. So you'd, you'd get to KFC, for example, or Subway, and no one would be there. You find vegetarian KFC, which you don't find anywhere in the world. Man. Vegetarian KFC? I mean, I, I what mean is that? the dishes that you find there, like paneer and stuff like that. So. It's a little difficult to find anywhere else that uh, yeah, ah. they've got a specific menu for them. Here yeah, we eat everything. You get uh, buffalo meat, mm -hmm. the pork, yeah. chicken, mutton, mm -hmm. everything we eat. Like, we are different the mm. rest of the state of India. We are totally different people because here the Portuguese was ruling here. Uh -huh. We are like similar like Portuguese. Ah, I see, so you accommodate foreign culture and yeah. right. Indian. Yeah, culturally it is different because uh, it is Portuguese and Portuguese. Yeah, when I researched this area, I saw that there was a train that runs But what I couldn't find out was, does this train <laughs> go to what is it, Kalanut? Kalagut? Yeah, here from here, you the train goes every part of the state uh -huh. The only thing you have to take care of your luggage Yes If you sleep in the train, you will It will disappear You will uh, not disappear You won't disappear You will lose yeah, yeah, everything, even this will lost <laughs> No robbers are there Goa state is different, which I told you again, I'm telling you yeah. so uh -huh. We are the original Gons, we will never rob. Mm -hmm. Only one person, maybe the robbers will be there, not that high fi robbers. Hi fi robbers are come from Delhi, Gujarat, Rajasthan. It's all the state of India. Even uh, the more crimes happening in different part of the state of India. We don't intend to rob and all these things. Like we always like good in people. Like we are mostly Roman Catholic and we are like peaceful people. Like we uh. don't fight for anything, no rights, nothing. You're, you're more relaxed you're about more relaxed. I even saw at the airport there was a sign I saw that said relax, you're in Goa yeah. or something like that. That's uh, why we call it Susegad. Susegad means relax. This is the main city. This is the first chapel. This is this is the called a fair. Fair is there here, yeah, the full of your fair. Most of you see Portuguese architecture. These houses are good. Yes, there. they look very uh, yeah, architect. Western, the architect, yeah. Yeah, Western. It's the place to live in India. Yeah, this is the best place in the whole of the world. So, we're gonna sort this out now. Sim card situation. 2003. 2003. Now they are country depending on. Okay. It's country dependent. It depends on the country. The sim card you get. Depends on the visa validity also. Yeah. 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 That. So I'll have a number that works for one year. Mm. Okay. And how may how, how much data that may I have a note? One point five GB per day. That can't be increased. That depends you on the recharge. You can. But you have a like separate plan. A separate plan. So the charges what, will be more. What's the cheapest plan? This is the cheapest one. The two thousand. Two ninety nine and uh, ninety nine rupees for membership. Two ninety nine. For so 1.5 yes, gigabytes yes, each yes, day. Yes, yes. Okay, what if I ask for 5 gigabytes each no, day? Uh, kya GB maximum use kar sakta hai re, din ka? Highest will be 2 GB, 2 gigabytes two GB per, day. per day. Okay. 2 months. GB, yeah, 2 GB per day. 2 GB per day for 3 months. For, for one, one month. month. For one month. And then you have to recharge again. Right? Every month you have to recharge. If you want to buy on an Aadhaar card of Indian uh, this thing, then, then it will be 50 rupees for the SIM card. And activation then recharge it comes to 300, 350 rupees. That only gets for the citizens of India only. If you have an other, that's if you have an Indian.
Ah, hello. What's the recharge? Only 400 rupees. Ah, hello. 100 rupees to recharge. So the 2000 is for you only. 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 For Oh, he is the guy. Yeah, so he's entering some information there and he's signing me up on the system that they use. Underground stuff. Guys, it seems to me that he must scan and enter some information on my behalf in order to actually activate the SIM card or link it to my identity. From what I understand, it's linked to the length of your visa. When your visa terminates, your SIM card is not going to work anymore. So that's how it works, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yep. Vodafone. Geo is the fastest network learning. Geo is the fastest one? Yeah. No, I haven't ever heard of it. Because when you look on the internet, it says Airtel or it says Vodafone for India. It doesn't say. No, Vodafone is a little slow. Geo is fast, but it will take time. Like What, what will take time? <laughs> the, to get your SIM. How long does it take? Half an hour. Where does it get it from? Not is getting, but you have to connect like you know, to how, send how is it? everything. You have to send your details to the companies. Like. A white photo. Just took a white background picture. This is by far the hardest. This has never been this difficult before. Because in Cambodia, yeah, uh, Thailand. Yeah, that that my friend, this is a big one. No, but not. then, yeah, of course. But why can't they no, just give it to you at the airport? See, what happened? Like, people, first it was getting easily, like, SIM cards and all this. People was misusing. Now it's become very strict. Like. How, how, how are people misusing them? Uh, how do you, you misuse them? Right? Like, uh, any crime, anything, crime, you're any tracked crime. on your phone. So that's it. Crime, mostly like crime. What type of crime can you do the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of things are happening. A lot of things? <laughs> With the SIM card? Oh, okay, yeah, scams, scams. Yeah, okay. scams. And then again, so scams, and then again, it is, uh, see, whatever it is, the person is caught with the mobile. Yeah. I mean, mobile is something that tracks you. Even now, your mobile is nah, that's lost, true. Like you get freaked. Yeah. yeah, that is true. So the tracking is done when there is a SIM card inside. No, for not for you also. Like for us also, you want to buy a SIM card. Mm -hmm. We need original documents and original. Mm. First, like one identity, people were taking three, three, four, four SIM cards. Like now it stops. One person, one person, one ID, one, one, SIM ID, card. one SIM card. Yeah. No, what if you're married? Can't you get one for your wife? Huh. You can get. No, you can take two or three. I think on one, but that's the limit, there, right? Yeah. Limit. But <laughs> India doesn't know my father's name. I can put something random here. <laughs> Landmark. Landmark. Landmark in South Africa. Yeah. 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 Super uh, supermarket. Yeah. They will come to your house. Shopping center. With the SIM card delivery. This is strange. <laughs> These guys are not gonna come to my house. Eh? Yeah, yeah. They come, they come, they come. <laughs> hey guys, this is crazy. Why is this like this? So do the foreigners that come to your accommodation, do they normally get SIM cards? No, no. I come here and yeah, we just leave. Do they, they come here? Us, we get them here. Oh, I see. How often do you come here? Uh, not very no, often. It's no, like... No. Uh, like uh, because most foreigners will maybe stay two days. Long or stay, mm -hmm. long that stay. is when, like, you know, it's, uh, we get them here. Four months, five months. Four months. And when uh, short stay, we normally do not know, they get a SIM card from somewhere, whether mm. they are earlier or whatever. Otherwise, yeah, but how do, you get a, how do you just get a SIM card? Yeah, you need someone. I see. You need mm -hmm. someone, like, he's got, he's sent an OTP on his number. Mm. So he required to put that OTP and he put his details as well. So, that, you know, it's, you're acknowledged by a person who's a, a person who is, yeah. Oh, he had the SIM card all this time. <laughs> he had the SIM card all this time. Take a photo. 
Yeah. Oh, another photo. Yeah, okay. another photo. Yeah. Let your camera also take one. Yeah, the camera also yeah. take one. Blink lines. Must I blink? Yeah. They are blink? Okay. Blink and then it clicks there. Oh, so it needs to identify your yeah. person or something. I have to get Airtel, it seems, because <laughs> Vodafone is being complicated. So Airtel is the best option. I mean to get, where did he go? <laughs> he was getting calls, you saw, so he said he's coming in. He told someone he's coming in two minutes and five minutes. So he's gone, he's disappeared anyway. So we'll get a confirmation. The moment you get the confirmation, you can put the SIM card, I guess, in your mobile and mm. you this is very interesting. This guy just left. I'm just gonna go outside and just see. So guys, this little guy literally just went outside somewhere. So, as you can see, this process of getting a SIM card in India, it's it's very complex. From what I've been able to understand so far, uh, foreigners will have most of the documentation required, including your uh, visa, basically, and your length of stay, your passport, all of that stuff is like linked to your passport, right? But now, what most foreigners won't have is the proof of residence. So you need a local to help you out with the proof of residence part. That's why my landlord here is being nice and helping me out with this whole process. I was unaware that it is this complicated to get a SIM card in India. Oh, and here he is. He's back now. Is that the moment? That's the moment we check if everything is working. Moment of truth to see if it works. The SIM card is in. So now I need to wait 15 minutes for this card to start working. But it does say LTE on it, which is good. I'm hoping when I restart it, it will say 5G. Thank you so much. <laughs> if somebody has a problem getting it, I will tell them to come here. Definitely. Is that fine? Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> so you heard the man. Uh, so guys, yeah, the process of getting this thing sorted is complicated. But I hope this video is useful to someone. And yeah, this is my landlord Simon. And yeah, I think that's the end of this video. See you in the next one. <laughs>